She's a tough crowd. Kristen's gonna see the goat baby. Oh the detrimental part of the navicular. So, I mean, that's just shooting for the moon. Is his, um... <laughs> Ponytails Refuge is a full circle of life shelter founded in 2014. As a full circle of life shelter, we take in any horse, mule, donkey, or pony, no matter their age, size, breed, or training. Regardless of their background, we have never turned an animal in need away. Even after 10 years and over 1,100 animals that have come through our gates, we just never know what's going to happen. These are the horse rescue tales from the tundra. What do you think, handsome man? She's like, what the hell? Okay, so, what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, uh, what's going on with Gannon? Um, he seems pretty sore in his wither area and he does not like to flex to the right. All right, let's see what we got. I'm very intimidating. It's my size. You look very concerned. Yeah, we totally do. Hello. Hi. You are a little piggy pig, aren't you? His middle doesn't fit his front and his back. You are several different horses at once, aren't you? Yep, I know. Stupid. <laughs> you have a big bullseye on your butt. It's hilarious. Yeah, it's like the big brown spot, and then his tail's right in the center of it. Yeah, now you're not going to unsee it. Well, it's fairly equal bilaterally. You're all right. You're okay. I know I'm scary. You're okay. You have like no chesticles either. Hmm, what happened to your chesticles? Oh yeah, you, I, I know I'm touching you. So even mid back, that's where he was getting super reactive and uh -huh. it was repeatable. So here, not here, here, not there. Okay. So we got some stuff. We got some stuff. You got some. Dude, you kinda, you piggy. Tried to brush him out earlier. No, at, at, at this, this point in time. Got. Yeah. That pee smell. Yeah. <laughs> You're all right. Good boy, there you go. See, that's what we needed. You're okay. So strength is good. In the back, we're equal bilaterally. There you go. Huh? Simon is with uh, Seuss and Remy. Hey. Let's try to do a couple on the ground. I don't need any help on top of my bail. It must be really hard to live at this level of anxiety That's with life. Uh -huh. Like, believe it or not, this is a lot less than we were. Mm. Good boy, bring your head down. There. Oh Good job. That was a big one. I'm not a huge fan of adjusting on the ground because I am two feet tall. Right, you kind of got to. Yeah, but this is, he's 
We don't want you to get knocked down. Well, I appreciate that. I'm not quite as young as I used to be. Um, we can get it started, and then we'll see if he kind of calms down. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling he has a raging atlas of somewhere, because we'll start here, and we'll see where we can get to. This is what he can handle right now. You just got to get out of your head, sir. So the idea behind this is if a joint is stuck in the A to P, so the up and down motion, if it's stuck a bit on the left and stuck a bit on the right, you toggle it, okay. you're basic, basically getting the same kind of adjustment. Okay. So that's what we're trying. We're attempting. Here. Now we're going to do the other side, and that might blow your mind too. Uh, if you fly backwards, you can. There, good boy. I think the air is going to eat him. Oof. That was a big one, wasn't it? See, I told you it was going to blow your mind. Oh, that's a good release. Good job. Maybe I'm not so, so horrible. You going to make it? There you go. Treats are the best. I'm touching you. <laughs> Crappy ankle for me. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Are you going to release that? Nope. Not anymore. <laughs> he thought it's about okay. it. No. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, Person, I know. Horse. Bait and switch. <laughs> he wants to. I know you want to. <laughs> oh, my. I didn't realize he was like that. I thought he was a pretty chill guy. <laughs> He's got a win over here. <laughs> <laughs> so... Right. He may go up or he may go back. Yeah. Usually back is his preferred. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Are we going to learn? No, I don't think so. Good boy. I had to do my patented ninja move. Yeah. I didn't even see that. you do it. Do we get it? Why? I am a street. Oh. Yes. Okay. Indy. I N D Y. You're so pretty. So, Indy, since she's been here, has had a little bit of a bucking problem, like moving forward under saddle. And we're trying to figure out if this is a training issue or if this is a pain related issue. Um, and she just the other day actually had her first ride without bucking. They went a few steps, and that was the first time she's done that. You, you go to make her forward. move forward Girl. and she bucks. Yeah. But she doesn't buck when someone's on her and leads her forward. Right. She thought about it, but... Only if you're on her and ask her to go. Then she just mm -hmm. tucks her butt. Mm -hmm. Tucks her butt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that one Smell it. You're all right. I know. Good job. How about I'm just gonna leave this right here? Yeah. There you go. You're okay. Mm -hmm. I got gray hair too, honey. I call it sprinkles. Powdered. Yeah. Powdered it's my tinsel. Powdered cinnamon. Yeah. I'll show you behind the withers. Mm, yeah. Lower thoracics. Hmm. I think she's going to be another one that's going to need sternal lift. Mm -hmm. As we get older, darling, we need to work on those core muscles. Slow and steady. 
There, good girl. That's where her back should be. Um, or how many horses are sway back that aren't clinically affected? Or how many horses that have kissing spines that aren't clinically affected? She's strong on both sides. So I'm not particularly worried about this, but when we lack muscle, it, when we're not equal bilaterally, we're gonna be more prone to having issues on that weaker side because we can't stabilize. She's actually mobilizing out really well. You're guarding. Oh. Mares always hold it. Oof, yep. So those lower thoracics that we had talked about, she was a little cranky. Oh, hi. She's like, fix it. Here we go, Bettis. Pretty springy in the low back for a not young lady. Oh, that one. Okay. Sacrum finally gotcha. Surprisingly supple in the low back. She's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. The lip thing. That's just awesome. Not, not going to. Do it. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> Especially to the right. What gives it away? This concrete that you call a neck. <laughs> oh, anyway. Thank you. Finally. She's like. If I do it really subtly, maybe they won't notice. Right. You're all right. I'm sorry, I need to like give you more warning. Um, bad to the left, too? <sighs> you didn't read a textbook. <laughs> and make my own moves. So I'd be Biggie Smalls. <laughs> I'd be Biggie Smalls. Hi. Hello. She's a tough crowd. She cut it right off as soon as yeah, you did the, the nope, there it's the rest of it. Yeah, you, you can't take it back. No takesies, backsies. Let me know how she goes. She definitely had enough in the, she had enough going on where I say, yeah, there's a significant chiropractic component. Is it all of it? So we'll see what comes out in the wash. So Ray is out here working with Lily. Lily has been a long work in progress. She, uh, she's only ever been a broodmare and she was very fight versus flight when she came here. Um, when you'd first bring out a stick, she'd be striking out, kicking out at you. And so finding, you know, honestly, just the right person to kind of work with her has been very difficult. Uh, she's been to a couple homes and it they just ended up bringing her back which obviously doesn't help their mindset at all but Ray started working with her and she's actually been doing super good <laughs> Lily is missing her eye on the left side so obviously that's her worst side at times, depends on the day. Sometimes, yeah. if she can see something, that's worse. <laughs> she kind of chooses which side she wants you on for the day. Good girl. 
Good girl. She has had a saddle on her before in the past when Anna was working with her. Yeah. But, uh. She kind of likes to restart with each person she works with. Yeah. And then obviously, unfortunately, Anna had to leave. So, Ray kind of just went back to square one herself. You're so cute, Lily. So Lily, being so particular and so fight versus flight at times, um, she's a horse that we all try really hard not to push over threshold. Because if you push her over threshold, not only does she get dangerous to herself and others, um, the next time you take her out for a training session, it's just going to be 10 times harder than the first time. So it's always important to not push her too far. Some horses can handle more than others. Um, she tends to be quite sensitive that way and how much she can handle in a day. So we try not to push her too much and end everything on a good note. Stand nicely in your own space. Back up. No. Thank you. <laughs> A lot flimsier than a saddle. Well, and the wind's blowing the opposite direction. No, <laughs> oh, thank you. Good girl. I'm not doing anything. Just touching. Got a little sassy with her tail back there. No, and you're not gonna fall me over. Because you can't see me, you know I'm still your girl. Good girl. Good girl. And we'll end it there. I'll look at you licking too. Like she knew. Yeah, right. <laughs> like I'm done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, Lily Bean. All right. So Nate is going to bolt the chute to the ground. Not actually to the ground, just to the concrete. To the concrete. It's just like the gas and fuel thing. Wow. I know. Did you? Parents. Yeah, it is a little lopsided. Well, how come this has like an adjust thing right here, but that don't. But then that side does too. That cute little note. Not even. That's the tape measure I was looking for. I would assume this is fairly straight. I don't think so. So why don't we do that? Put this one on the same. Oops. How are we? This one. I don't think it's too far apart on the bottom. <laughs> what was what's it doing? <laughs>
nice having a hammer drill that actually drill a hole. Yeah, and that goes like really fast. Yeah. Works almost as good as stops. I'm all fresh. <laughs> So Dr. Kristen has just arrived. We're going to start the day with having her review some x-rays. Um, and then we've got all the quarantine horses to look at. Uh, we even have Polly coming today. Um, it's going to be busy, but we think we'll get everybody done. Oh, <laughs> horsey stuff. Yeah, I saw the stock out here. I'm yeah. extremely excited. Come on, Halo. This is not stock, but kind of stock. Right, first horse in the shoot. There we go. Yeah, huh? It'd be you, girl, wouldn't it? <laughs> Kristen's gonna see the goat baby. Oh, oh, you got your jammies off. You had jammies on them? Yeah, there, there's one over there. How's your baby's doing? Don't nibble me. Don't do it. Oh, you guys are cute. They're so big already. So I big know. Big. You know how to jump up there now? You and your floppy ears. Looks like you got new horns, maybe? Didn't yes. You? Yep. They're good. So much easier oh. when you do it when they're really young. Otherwise, they become a problem. Yeah. Hi, hey, sweetie. How's that been treating you? Her abscess has turned into after the end I would say it does seem like it's becoming granulation tissue, though. Which sucks, because now we got real issues. Oh my goodness, honey. No, no, no. You let me keep it. I know. We're in a funny position here. You know, quit. Wow, her heels are terrible. Yeah, and we tried putting her back outside and she busted it open. Yeah, she, sure she did. It, so. If it was bleeding that much, I do think we have proud flush here. That sucks. It's a bad spot for it. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking it should all get shaved. Okay. All this kind of stuff around here. If uh -huh. you guys want to keep the feathers out of the way because it's trapping moisture and stuff. And we're probably going to treat this more like a proud flush situation where she's off an antibiotic right now, correct? Yeah. She'll be on an antibiotic, and then I'd like to put some furosin ointment on that and bandage it. But this, I'm, I'm kind of concerned the amount of scar tissue she already has here that we're never going to get that down all the way. But if we can at least keep it, get the infection out of there, I think she's always going to have some scarring. Yeah, I know, baby. You really did a number on your heel. Yeah. She's going to want to shave that, clean it up really good. Is she pretty sound on it? She's not really. Yeah. It does hurt? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, let's get that clipped then and cleaned up a little bit. What do you think? How's that feel? I have to take your pretty feathers. I'm sorry. You're a pretty good girl, aren't you? Yeah? You a good girl? Mm, good job. You're being good. Oh, she's like, I'm getting sick of this game, though. So you just got the stock set last night, huh? Yeah. That's so awesome. The last place I was at, she just bought some stocks, too. So she's getting ready to set them, and we were just, we were trying to decide where we want them, and this is great setup here. you got plenty of space around it if a horse gets naughty. Good girl. Well, think about how big that is compared to her other yeah. keel bulb. Like, so I just, there's gotta be, there's definitely some granulation tissue going in there. I know, it's gonna be itchy. Is it raining out there now? Yeah. At least it's not snow. Yes. Oh, honey, what if I cut all that off and then you get a big scar? Clips more of that out of there. She's actually being pretty good, but if I go to cut it, she will be sedated. <laughs> I just wanted to explore it first. Hey, 
sweetie. Just because it seemed like we finally had her on track with like her other issues, and then this. Yeah, because it's like the whole. It's like it's more than just this. It's like the hoof is all deformed. Yeah. And I mean, the, the thing is that it could be a sarcoid. So we thought it started as a hoof abscess. Did you find the track below when it did that? Yeah, Polly was able to stick his finger like through it and come out. Okay. So, I remember that. It one started day. in the hoof. Yeah, and, and it blew off the top. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is she getting her shoes done today? reason I ask is if I, if I cut some of this granulation tissue out of here, uh -huh and do a tight bandage, she won't be able to get her foot done today. Because right. if she's not, I might just cut some of this out of there. So this is all, you can see tissue, tissue, and this is all granulation. I could cut that out, let's see how she does. But since it's so close to her heels, she's growing a funky hoof below it too. Let's pick it up now, sweetie, please. Yeah, bend your leg, you goofus. It, it looks like her hoof is growing. Up. Yeah, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it's kind of bulged out there. I just... What I would do then is I could cut this out of here. And we could even test it to make sure it's not a sarcoid or something, because that could be a complicating factor. It could be granulation, but if she developed a sarcoid or something there, it's not really a spot where you'd be able to get full margins on something like a sarcoid. So, so not today? She's not getting done? No. So I could sedate her. I'll cut that off. She'd have a tight, tight pressure bandage on today. Okay. And you guys would have to change it tomorrow, yep. and then I would start with furous ointment okay. and bandage wraps. Okey so, dokey. good thing we have this. And then yeah. You're gonna test that. <laughs> if you're okay with that, I want to make sure it? if no, it's no, to no, make sure no, it's no, not. No, yeah. Because no, no. I mean, I know it started as an abscess, but you yeah. know, weird things happen too. <laughs> yeah, she's drunk. Yeah. <laughs> or she doesn't like the rain. I don't know. <laughs> Here you go. I'm gonna hand you that. <laughs> Hey, sweetheart. What's that? <laughs> you get the fun job. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that going to be okay? It's okay. I'll be fine. Okay. Hey, sweetie. Let me see here. Well, if you're just going to stand like that, I'll see what you do. I just want to see what she thinks. Yep, it's going to bleed like a mother, but we're going to take some of this off. Sorry. <laughs> Obviously, it doesn't really hurt her. Well, honey, let's see. Would you just kind of let me do this without your foot getting all wet on the ground? Put a bunch of padding on you, good girl. It's, it's all about pressure, day one. So it's going to, it'll bleed. <laughs> Because granulation tissue has a lot of blood supply. Is she the black one that was the... How's she doing? Good. It's finally coming down. Yeah, she's been outside. Oh, okay. oh, gosh, you're just an assistant. So she's good? She's letting people catch her and stuff again? Really? So it finally, it healed up, too? Yeah. That's awesome. She was so nervous, yeah. How did, wasn't that a humane case, too? Didn't you have to deal with Chippewa? Yeah. And everything's okay? Well, the people are mad. Well, they also said that Julie had a broken leg. Yeah. 
What? Yeah. Yeah. And came on off for working a horse with a broken leg. Where did she break her leg? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't. I just don't remember that. I guess I don't know. Maybe all the more reason they should have had a vet out. No, Brian. Well, if you have any time, you think a horse has a broken leg, we got a problem, folks. That's good. We stopped the bleeding. <laughs> we'll go ahead and change that tomorrow, nonstick, and then. I think tomorrow is going to be another day where it might bleed a bit, so just a nonstick pad. And then you saw I did some cotton wrap yep. and then a tight gauze and then the regular vet wrap over that. Okay. So it's just pressure. We're going to keep it from bleeding. Okay. Then after that, we're going to use Fearson until we get some results. And um, I brought two tubs of Uniprim. Okay. So she'll be on Uniprim too. Again. Yeah, you want my sample. <laughs> So Dr. Kristen was here to check out the quarantine horses, but unfortunately, when we moved from the barn up here down to the quarantine barn, we had some audio difficulties that we weren't aware of until the day was over. So we don't have audio of Kristen talking about the quarantine horses, but we do have video. So we're just gonna have Ray kind of summarize what Kristen said while she looked them over, and that's the best we can do. Um, it happens, what do you do? We'll just keep moving forward and get you the best information that we can. So we're gonna start with Nikki Minaj today. We noticed she came in in pretty rough shape. She is said to be bred. Um, her feet are long overdue and she is extremely lame, possibly due to her feet. Thankfully, we were able to get some x-rays taken before Dr. Kristen got here. So we're gonna go ahead and have her take a peek at those and see what we find. But she doesn't look like she's really rotated or sunk yet. But she's got a whole heck of a lot of foot. Maybe that yeah. stupid shoe's been on there for too long. I can believe it. She kind of reminds me of Phantomus, where her angles, she's just a little bit, she needs to be more upright. Mm -hmm. Like her angles are a lot like him. I think Polly has a lot to work with there. A lot of soul with really no rotation yet, other than she's just so flat back, just like Phantomus is. Just get them shoes off and get her trimmed up. Start with feet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Start with so. feet. Andre 3000, everything checked out with him as far as it goes with Dr. Christian. He does thankfully have both testicles. Um, so our next plan of attack with him will just be getting him castrated and going from there. So next up we have Drake. He is said to be a little bit of an older guy. He's kind of on the nervous side. He liked to play hard to catch. Um, but overall, everything did check out with Dr. Kristen, so we're just going to let him continue his quarantine and go from there. So next up we have Missy Elliott. She did have a pretty enlarged knee, we noticed, at the auction house, which made us pretty worried about her overall condition and well-being. Um, we were able to x-ray that before Dr. Kristen got here, and she did go ahead and take a peek at those. It looks like she does have the start of arthritis in her knee. We did notice as well that she is pretty bow-legged. Um, she's a very sweet girl overall, so we're hoping that she will be able to just be someone's companion and past her pet sound for the future. So Queen Latifah is up next here. She was the one that we noticed at the auction house was in with the jack donkeys. She had a bunch of bite marks and cuts and scrapes all over her back, indicating that the donkeys were probably mounting her while they were at the auction house. She also had a pretty swollen eye, which we did start treating right away with the Neopoly back eye cream and then the Banamine to get the swelling down. Kristen did take a peek at her eye and she said we we're on the tri right track there to just keep up with the medication and and everything else checks out well. Next up we have Usher. He is one of two jack donkeys that we got from the auction. Both donkeys were pretty nervous. Usher overall seems like he could come around a little bit faster than Vanilla Ice. He did check out with Dr. Kristen. Um, we had to get him in the shoot to be able to take a peek at him but he did well overall and he's right around five years of age like we suspected. Next up we have Vanilla Ice, the other jack donkey. Um, he is a little more on the nervous and flighty side. We were able to take a peek at him. Kristen didn't a wasn't able to get complete hands on him, but he does check out. Um, so next step for him will just be getting him castrated once he's up with his quarantine. And hopefully getting a few more hands on him and having him come around as far as groundwork goes. So next up we have both babies, Lil Wayne and Biggie Smalls. 
Kristen went ahead and took a peek at them, likely their first vet visit ever. They did well overall. Um, they are younger than we thought. They don't have quite all their one-year-old teeth in yet, so we're thinking they're probably around eight months old. We weren't able to feel both testicles being they are so young, so, so we'll just let them continue to uh, follow through with their quarantine and start with their training when they're finished. Polly will be here later this afternoon. Most of these guys do need their feet done, so we'll see what he has to say about them, and then we'll just kind of continue to observe them until their quarantine is up. Got Teo in here. And he's just gonna get some either new shoes or the same shoes. We'll see. Couldn't have done that again if you tried. Okay, buddy. Come here. Ooh, bring it up. So when we first started working on him, he had the signs of founder enough to where I could see it from the bruising and just kind of how the lamina was stretched. Um, so what we did is we just, we started him with bar shoes, but then he had got a case of thrush so bad that his frog had shedded and it was bad. So now we just put a wide web um, standard clip shoe on, tapered back a little bit for more support um, so that clottal support system doesn't collapse. Um, yeah, the bruising is gone. Um, frog's growing back. Um, so I think we're on the right track. So up next, we're going to try Julie. That's the easiest I've got her. Yay! Today might be a good day for Julie. Gonna hopefully get her feet trimmed here. See how she does. All right, she's very nervous. I have been able to pick up her feet. She does get kicky with the backs. I kind of figured that. She still ain't got nothing to take off. Still? I wonder, I wonder if, like, though, like, trauma, <coughs> your body kind of shuts down to heal, <laughs> to heal other parts of the body. It's kind of like in, when it's really cold, or the biotin goes to the hair, not right. the feet. Okay. We showed them those actually. Oh, of these two, no. I know structure looked fine. I can, I mean, I can take it off to where she needs to be. I just didn't know if it was rotated or anything. No, no, Kristen said just start with taking off all that and junk. That helps with that might be why she's All sore. of it. But oh, she's gonna... also got bar shoes on. And it looks like they've been on a long time. So how many sets of bar shoes do I need to order? <laughs> Nikki. Name's fitting. Yeah. <laughs> Need your feet done. Oh boy. We got a heart bar even. Yeah, we do. Ooh. Poor thing. Maybe went one size up. Look at how much they had to warp that to put it on. I mean, it's. <laughs> so, like, the idea for a heart bar is one, navicular, and two, if the navicular is bad enough, you've got that whole support. Um, this is my go to for a like severe case of navicular, like the last call before euthanization or feathered coffin bones, um, rotated coffin bones. Um, X-rays look good on her though, so we're not worried about that, but I'm just wondering, just by looking how she's standing, she's parked out, kind of like a 
trotter or a walker, which just without even x-raying it would be like, oh, you've got some issues going on. But these shoes were on so darn long that I think just with us trimming her and bringing that toe all the way back and getting her standing up as much as possible without a shoe for now is going to be a sigh of relief for how long these have been on because she's got... I bet these are on for 16 weeks for, for how much they're wore because this is, the, this is the good brand, the heavier grade steel heart bar, what I use. It's, it's not the RGMs, but it is a Kirkheart and then it's made by the same steel. These are a couple bucks less and easier to get. Also too, the clips um, is good for keeping the shoe on, but also in a case like that, maybe not so much because as the foot grows, the clips retain that hoof from growing, so it can cause pressure. That's why I always tell people if we're putting clip shoes on your horses, we're not letting them go any longer than six weeks because any growth after that puts pressure on everything, and if that navicular is already pinching, this is going to make it worse. So these are overdue by 10 weeks. And let's not rip our foot away like that, like last time, okay? She's got thrush like no tomorrow. Look at this. Hold on. Yeah, right down in there. It's. Her thrush is so deep, it's undermining her frog. That could be part of the reason, too. Quiet. I'm trying to help you here. Well, you're going to be a fun one to put shoes back on. That's just, that's borderline neglect. Oh, we got two different shoes on. This one has a, this one's an aluminum, that one was a steel, and they're two different depths. So I mean that's part of the reason why she was probably walking off. This is what you get when you get cheap farrier. It gets done, but that's about all that gets done. Look at how crooked it's nailed on. Okay. Here's the base of her center of her bulbs, and there's the base of the shoe. It's off by about nine degrees. And the nails are draft nails. Look at how big them heads are. Oh yeah, them are like size nine nails. That's what I would put in Fiona. Libby is a size three and she gets a size six. These are three sizes bigger. And this horse is a double odd foot. So I'm gonna I'm going to expect that we got either a hot nail or a, some major bruising. Yeah. And it was put on upside down. Yes, it was. Get your mother in here. The shoe is on upside down because this is the side that's supposed to be looking at you because that's the wear bar. And the logo never lies. And this is an aluminum. That was a steel. This is a double ot, and that was an ot. So two different sizes. And yeah. I'm just confused. No rhyme or reason to why anyone would do that. I mean, I think my I think our sons that are eight, seven, and two would know how to put a shoe on the right way. <laughs> She's got her back feet wore all the way down from walking like that. Um, we could take some more depth on her feet, but I don't want to do too much at once because if we get her walking downhill, like I mean, there's a, we could take a whole inch off. Easy. Plus the shoes, so inch and three quarters. And then you do too much of that at once, and then you change that pressure on that navicular bone, even with keeping her on her toe. Is, yeah, so we're going to do in baby steps. So next time we'll trim her again. Probably take just as much off and sure if you want. You're talking in like two weeks? Yeah. Okay. Yeah.
Because I don't think she's ever going to be sound without him. And she, I, I, or well, I shouldn't say that until we get him straightened out again. She's got really bad. And she's got really bad brush. Yeah, because I mean, we've got and just the one? Both, both fronts. Um, so yeah, we've got, I mean, this is the, the shoe that was on the front left. And that's the shoe that was on the front right upside down. There's your size Good grief. comparison. Like, A whole two sizes, pretty much. I mean, so technically this aluminum shoe that was put on upside down isn't even covering the detrimental part of the navicular. So, I mean, that's just shooting for the moon. That's why I always get upset and like to preach to people on, like, shoeing. It's not just trimming and we're not whacking and tacking and, you know, cutting feet off. It's, like... There's a reason why they only hire the best farriers at racehorse barns. There's the only reason they hire the best farriers for draft, you know, show drafts and, you know, you're reining and you're cutting horses. Just you have to do it the right way for a reason. Well, yeah, I mean, and it's one of them that good bad news always travels faster than good news. So you, we've got 862 horses on an eight-week schedule, but you know damn well if you screw up one of them horses. Everybody's going to hear about it. Mm -hmm. But if you do a miracle on one, nobody's going to hear about it. So, Depending on how bad they are, like next time, we might shoe her in the back, too, for support. Okay. We'll just see. Okay. She's going to be the new Daphne for now. The only reason I ask is because his heels are all wore down. His, um... like Mon Monticello or Monticello oh. where his bulbs touching the ground oh. and the the frog has got more depth than the heel I'll show you oh bud so oh, good grief. here's your heel yeah. there's your yeah that's cute so, um, <laughs> yeah, yep, sorry, but yeah. <laughs> um, and there's no evidence that he's had shoes on recently, is there? No, no shoes on. Um, there's no nail holes, which is why you should shoe your road horses, because of that reason right there. Because the concrete is more aggressive than this. Mm -hmm. So they did basically just run them down and return to the sale? Well, that'd be my guess, because he's got all bruised up, too. Well, luckily it's going to stay warm-ish to keep the mud, because the mud's the only thing keeping him sound right now. Shoes all around. He's good to go. He's good to go. This one's messy. It's just a little. She's got arthritis in this front. I see that. She can bend it pretty decently, so only about so halfway, probably. At the time, I think they the thought she off. was going to go to slaughter, so they cut her tail. Ah. Yeah. Ah. This will be the one that will be easy to do. It's going to be the other one, because she's going to have to stand on this one. Okay. Just keep it low. That's all you're going to give me. That's fine. Did anybody get named Biggie? Biggie Smalls, Smalls is one of the yearlings. Biggie Smalls and Lil Wayne. I commented Biggie on one of them. I should have just went and commented Biggie on all of them. Hey. Hey. Sorry. Let's. Well, let me see here. Oh, 
Can you hand me the... He'll be fine for two weeks. Can we drug him next time? Yeah, is he that bad? He's just trying to drag him around. Oh, okay. That works. Yeah, he's not awful. Biggie Smalls and Lil Wayne. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> How old are they? Yearlings. They're not quite Oh my god, they're, they're so cute. Mini minis. These guys should be good. Uh, yeah. Well, I would hope I could handle these two. That's my, if I was a horse, that'd probably be me. Hi, fella. What do they call them? Fallabellas or something? The, the micro mini horses? Oh, I didn't know they had a name like yeah, that. Yeah, it's Flabella or something. You ever heard of them? Mm -mm. You have to Google them. They're like... Half the size. Yeah, and we literally just pick the horse up and lay it down and trim it. Yeah, I trim one over by River Falls. Honestly, the horse is probably this... It's probably the same size as your bulldog. Yeah, that small. <laughs> Sorry. Since I've never flown before, nobody tosses a dwarf. I feel attacked. Oh, says yes, they do. There's a video on my Facebook somewhere of when I was in high school, there was some of my wrestling buddies, they were three of them standing in a living room at a party and they were throwing me back and forth to each other. I wrestled 103, they wrestled like 225. Oh <laughs> Quit it, just da 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 So Maureen is here today. What's going on? I'm adopting Lily. There's a Lily right here. Do you just love her? I love her. I've loved her the whole time. I've loved her since we got her. Yeah. I said, of course, to the horse. Yay. <laughs> and she's like, no, I don't think so. <laughs> she's like, there's someone in here with a halter. <laughs> Let's see. They like to get jealous of each other. <laughs> she's like, pet me, pet me, please. No nibble at me. Delight. No, thank you. <laughs> Good girl, Lil. Oh, she got it. You just gotta take your time with her. <laughs> Lily rushes nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. She's standing there just. Good girl. So Lily has left a couple times and unfortunately come back. Uh, sometimes she loads great, <clears throat> sometimes not so much. She makes me laugh. Everything is done on Lily's time. Yeah. On her time schedule, time frame. Well, Maureen just showed up there, so I think it surprised her a bit. So she is gonna go to raise. Maureen is about to go out of town for a couple months. Ray's gonna keep working with her there. Try to help her become a good citizen for Maureen. Good girl, Al. Those are shavings. Oh, couple more steps. Good girl. You're almost there. You're okay, and I'm way back here. Just check it all out. I'm not trying to scare you. I'm just trying Check 
Good girl, Elle. Well, we're just checking the shavings. <clears throat> That's all right. <laughs> Not a monster. Ground is solid. No, no, don't back no you're okay, hon. I think you are now officially out of poop. Nope, never mind. Okay. <laughs> Your tail is so cute, Lily. It is so cute now. Good girl. Nope. Nope. Nope, nope. Good girl. Good girl, Will. Good girl. Forward, hon. I'm just standing here. Good girl, look at you. Her front feet are. She's just checking it out more. And more poop. Good girl. Good luck, I think she'll do fine. You got this. Lily is off to her new home. Maureen's going to follow behind and help her get settled in. Hopefully this is it for Lil. Some horses just takes more time. Finding the right home is important.